Hello. Oops. How's it going, folks? <coughs> um, today. <coughs> Today we're going to try to track down Sanctum um, and give him his commission and then in a little over two hours, if I am recalling correctly, we have an open mic at uh, the Grand Corrigan. <coughs> Starting my day off with some nice throat clearing for you all. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, thank you to Helma or Halma uh, for the uh, off-stream follow. Very much appreciate that. That brings us to 110 followers, which is pretty fucking cool. I'm on the list. According, oh, it's Misty. It's good to know. Okay. <coughs> Damn. Missed you up early. I mean, you know, that might have been 1014, but still. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <coughs> Let's see if uh, anyone's at the Blue Pearl. Bump up the music a little bit. Oh, there it's, it's only just playing. I'll still bump it up a little. <coughs> I should probably start doing vocal exercises before I stream in the future. Clear up all this phlegm ahead of time. the music level for you guys I guess it's at like about the same level as uh the like background stuff so I guess that's probably fine I'm gonna bump it up just a little Ain't looking good. <coughs> so we actually don't have any commissions we're working on right now, which is a rarity for us.
Well, they got that wrong. Unless I'm wrong? Today is Saturday. Yeah, they got that wrong. It's the first. <clears throat> The librarian roads. <clears throat> Well, seeing as we don't have a commission currently, we might as well work on the play while we're waiting for folks. Oh, uh, wait, no. Let's check the sheriff's office and see if... Uh, what's his name is around? Sanctum. Morning. Grab the playbook while we're here. Mm -hmm. 
I'll hunt the theater for a bit. You're running low on pages. It's weird, I can't click on this page for some reason. Okay, well. <clears throat> The weekends are, well, are sometimes a little slow. <coughs>
Oops, sorry. Just adjusting my sound gate a bit. Oh, now I have to sneeze. <laughs> It is dead empty in here today. Alright, we'll head back to the Blue Pearl and just hang out there. Somebody's bound to appear eventually. <coughs> oh, I'll write a telegram to Sanctum real quick.
This is a pretty game, even when it's an ugly game. <coughs> it's pretty ugly. That weird ass empty wagon. Oh god. <laughs> so hard to control in cinematic mode. Alright. <laughs> Constantly walking into shit whenever I try to do cinematic mode.
We might need to transfer this to a longer, a longer uh, journal, or buy another one and just sort of have it continued therein, or get rid of some of the spaces. If we get rid of the spaces, well, we'll have to. It'll take a lot of work. <laughs> Maybe it's not worth it. We'll figure it out. <coughs> Okay, there. Now at least I can type on this page.
Hello. Alright, let's lock me then. Hello. Is that you? Is that well, this is Elliot Teller. Yes, it's Dahlia. Good to see you. Oh Dahlia, hello. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Are you going to the event tonight? I am indeed, yes. You gonna read some poetry? That is my uh intention, yes. I did RSVP with Misty, so Oh wonderful. Is so. she around? <clears throat> uh she sent me a telegram at about said. Uh, 10 this morning uh western time so i i don't know okay i might go down and see if see if they're down there all right i was actually just working on the the play i'm hoping to have it finished here in the next few days so i'll keep you updated about that perfect that would be amazing it's i not would going love, to be like, love love it's not going to be fantastic but at least something will get up on that stage no, that's no, that's great. It's going to be wonderful. I cannot wait to throw that event. That's going to be so much fun. Everybody's going to love it. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Well, I'll see you down there in a bit. All right. See you later. If I don't see you around town again. Sure. <laughs> I like that when I first said hi to her, she just ignored me. I know it's possible she didn't hear me. <laughs> Whoa. I just sucker punched my microphone, sorry. I kind of want to read um I kind of want to read Temple's poem at the event cuz I really kind of like it. Took me a while to get anywhere with it, but then I did. And now I'm pretty happy about it. Oh, it's actually the first thing in this book. He goes, Love has always seemed to me a horrid sort of malady, worth little more than pain. Uh, love has always seemed to me a horrid sort of malady, worth little more than pain sat in the bank. And if I tell you honestly, my heart is broken chronically. What was my. Oh, that's right. My pattern here is weird. So it's A A B B C. No, it's, what is it? It's A, A, B, A, A, B is what it is. A, A, B, A, A, B. Right. Love has always seemed to me a horrid sort of malady, worth little more than pain sat in the bank. And if I tell you honestly, my heart is broken chronically, and I've no one but myself for that to thank. 
Away I went to Rhodes to find a bottle I could hide behind and lost myself to blackjack stew and booze. The parlor house is to my mind the best place to escape the grind, but it was more than money this night. Uh, but it was more than money this night I would lose. I need to practice this one before I read it to him. When you walked into the door, I couldn't know what was in store, but I knew that just to see you was a blessing. You had my heart in hand before I realized it was gone, and sure enough, it wasn't long till we're undressing. Our night was full of passion, and after our lustful smashing, I had dozed off like a fawn in sunlit glade. I awoke among the trash and realized after a fashion the horrible mistake that I had made. Alone amongst the refuse, and naked as a plucked goose, I searched, but you were nowhere to be found. Shortly I had deduced, my belongings all had vamoosed, and I was left a nude and foolish clown. From that day I did swear that no man or woman anywhere would take from me my tender heart again. Although I'd say your derriere was worth this whole horrid affair, except you stole my favorite fucking pen. <laughs> yeah, I really like that piece. So I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna read that one tonight I think I'm gonna practice that one one or two more times real quick because <clears throat> the rhythm's a little weird but love has always seemed to me a horrid sort of malady worth little more than pain sat in the bank and if I tell you honestly my heart is broken chronically and of no one but myself for that to thank. Away I went to Rhodes to find a bottle I could hide behind, and lost myself to blackjack stew and booze. The parlor house is to my mind the best place to escape the grind, but it was more than money this night I would lose. When you walked into the door, I couldn't... I'm gonna back up. Away I went to Rhodes to find a bottle I could hide behind, and lost myself to blackjack stew and booze. The parlor house is to my mind the best place to escape the, the grind. But it was more than money this night I would lose. So I gotta say those first bits pretty fast. But it was more than money this night I would lose. When you walked into the door, I couldn't know what was in store, but I knew that just to see you was a blessing. You had my heart in hand before I realized it was gone, and sure enough, it wasn't long till we're undressing. Our night was full of passion, and after our lustful smashing, I had dozed off like a fawn in sunlit glade. I awoke among the trash and realized after a fashion the horrible mistake that I had made. Alone amongst the refuse and naked as a plucked goose, I searched, but you were nowhere to be found. Shortly I had deduced my belongings all had vamoosed, and I was left a nude I w and I was left a nude and foolish clown. From that day I did swear that no man or woman anywhere would take from me my tender heart again. Although I'd say your derriere was worth this whole horrid affair, except you stole my favorite fucking pen. Okay, one more time, and then I'll let it go for now. Love has always seemed to me a horrid sort of malady, worth little more than pain sat in the bank. And if I tell you honestly, my heart is broken chronically, and I've no one but myself for that to thank. Away I went to Rhodes to find a bottle I could hide behind, and lost myself to blackjack stew and booze. The parlor house is to my mind the best place to escape the grind, but it was more than money this night I would lose. When you walked into the door, I couldn't know what was in store, but I knew that just to see you was a blessing. You had my heart in hand before I realized it was gone, and sure enough, it wasn't long till we're undressing. Our night was full of passion, and after our lustful smashing, I had dozed off like a fawn in sunlit glade. I awoke among the trash and realized, after a fashion, the horrible mistake that I had made. Alone amongst the refuse and naked as a plucked goose, I searched, but you were nowhere to be found. Shortly, I had deduced my belongings all had vamoosed, and I was left a new. And I was left. Hmm, that's a tough one. I'm gonna back up just a bit. Alone amongst the refuse, and naked as a plucked goose, I searched, but you were nowhere to be found. Shortly I had deduced my belongings all had vamoosed, and I was left a nude and foolish clown. From that day I did swear that no man or woman anywhere would take from me my tender heart again. Although I'd say your derriere was worth this whole horrid affair, except you stole my favorite fucking pen. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Okay. Anywho, what time is it? 
three thirty, so we got another like hour and a half until that goes down. We'll probably head that way a little early, but not this early. Now I'm stuck in that A A B A A B format. <clears throat> like I have the rhythm, like bum ba 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 bum. I need to get that out of my head because that is not what this play is. Although it could be. This is just the first draft, really, but. I have no further questions, you are free to go. When I find out who did this, you'll be the first to know. I appreciate that, but I'm not leaving. The longer I stay here, I can put off grieving. The longer, no, the longer I stay here, the longer I can put off grieving. So this one doesn't really have a rhythm. Do you know the girl well? No, not at all, I've only been here a short spell. But she seemed nice enough, always had a smile in passing. Except around the other dancer, who was always harassing the poor thing. Then she looked grim. If anybody's poisoned her, my money is on him. I mean, I might need to clean up. I might, yeah, I'll probably need to clean up this play a bit. But at least I'll have, like, the idea. And I've come up with the ending. The ending is really dumb. Um, it's, it's, it's absurd, is what it is. But it'll work. God, I'm so tempted to like restart the whole play in that AAB format because it would work really well for a play. Like it would sound really good on stage. I'll think on that. Mostly I think it's just because it's lodged into my head right now.
cannot get the, the is there a rhythm in this maybe there just isn't hold on let me see if i was doing a rhythm i might rewrite this whole thing <laughs> so she is quite dead i'm afraid though not by bullet blood or blade she's been poisoned i can plainly see oh god why Oh god, why would you do this to me? To you, you can s Oh. She's been poisoned, I can plainly see. Oh god, why would you do this to me? Right, so... Boy, I'm starting to think... This A, B, A, B, A, B... Or no, 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 this would be... What? A, A, B, B, A, A, B, A, B... More or less. A, B, B, C, C, etc. <coughs> Am I right in this page? No. I'm restless. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself right now.
Good to keep the body and mind refreshed and healthy. Well, I was going to come and watch it, and then I got distracted, so I guess next time I'm going to have to, just to come and support. I'm actually so restless right now. Okay. Uh, maybe I should just go to the Corrigan. Or maybe not. I don't know.
Oh no. Okay, so the server is coming down in 15 minutes. So from 4 to 405, roughly. Quality of life and bug fix patch. <coughs> Quality of life stuff is. Uh, uh. have not said yet. Well, in about 10 minutes, the server's going down for about five minutes. <coughs> for sure. I only heard a bit of the voice. I have a hard time recognizing anybody unless they're talking. Um, let's just go hide somewhere until the restart. I'll play maybe a round of multiverses or something just because my brain's a bit scrambly. I could make more coffee but I feel like that might make it worse. I don't know.
You know what I really want is I want to find. Oh, it's uh, it's Nico. But I want to see where they if they posted the um. Uh, les enfants pitoyables, pitoyables, um, the poem I wrote, the trash, the, the burn, the burn piece. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to disappear for a minute. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, not a real place. Oops. <clears throat> um, I think I'm just going to take kind of a long break to recenter. So I'll be back once the server is back up. I'm going to put up the intermission thing and I'll put a little message just saying that it's going to be kind of a long one. And sorry, I know that's uh, not, you know, great streamer etiquette, but seeing as the server is going to go down anyway, nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to take a minute to sort of breathe. I'm not like panicking or anything. I'm fine. I'm just like just a wee bit out of it. Might either make coffee or maybe Maybe some nice tea or something. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick breather. But I will be back uh, for the uh, open mic. Um, so stick around. I'll, I'll be, let's see, roughly 12 minutes. <laughs> roughly a 12-minute break. Thanks for uh, bearing with me, folks. That fucking Texas gibberish.
Yeah.
Server will be going down again for a quick fix to the relog functionality. Apologies for the inconvenience. Estimated downtime two minutes.
All right, quick break again. I'm not going to go anywhere, though. I'll be right here with you. Waiting. Well, this open mic's going to be a lot of fun if it actually happens. Try to get to the Bastille for a bath before uh, the actual event. Stream info. Here we go. Loud. Sorry. I really need to turn those down.
I'm gonna grab my other poetry book as well. have it just in case I need it. Do not like the song. Quick path. Knock, knock. The, the Kerrigan, uh, Corrigan? Yes, Corrigan. Alright, well, I'm just off to the Pep and Gun store to purchase it. If ever it sounds like I'm farting, it's always my chair. If I'm going to fart, I mute my microphone. Just for the record, everyone farts, including my chair.
Just make sure that Sanctum never got back to me. I'm pretty sure he did not. Hello. Oh. Hey there, Mr. Hey, Telly. Felix. How's it going? Yeah, if you'll excuse me for about five minutes, I got to do an errand real quick. Oh, I'll be quite back good. shortly. All right. Oh, how about yourself, uh, Mr. Teller? Oh, I'm doing well, all in all. Can't complain. Well, could complain, but won't complain. Uh, fair. Well, I must say, I do like the pants and the sweater. Was nice on Thank you. you. Yes, I still haven't found a jacket that I like better than this one. And uh, as it was, I had misplaced this jacket at the time of buying these new clothes during some drunken escapades. So I've yet to find something that suits it. But nevertheless, I don't think I'll be wearing uh, it very long tonight anyway. Yeah, it's quite fine. Well, um, in about 30 minutes or so, we should be having the open mic night. So mm -hmm. yeah, feel free to stick around and enjoy that one. Be fun. Yes, yes, yes. I'm hoping to read a few things as well. Oh, yes. Excellent. That'll be wonderful. Alrighty. Uh, well, uh, myself and Jameson, we were heading to just chat telegrams briefly and get changed, but sure. we'll circle back uh, soon. All right. Until then. All right. See That's you shortly. Sure. On booth, in booth, on booth. He looks so villainous when he has his hands behind his back. Eyebrows.
Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Hope you're doing alright today. I am, thank you. All in all. Welcome to the Corrigan, fella. Can I get you anything? Oh, I think I'm all right just for the moment. I'm I'm here for the event. I'm just a bit early. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we still got folks rolling in to uh, assist with staffing. So, if you got any questions, just holler at one of us. Or if you need anything, just let me know. Appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, yes, sir. Howdy. Is that you, Cross? Hmm? All right. Hello. Again, okay, welcome to the Corrigan, sir. Can I get you anything? Excellent. Well, feel free to make yourself comfortable. If you have any questions, feel free to holler. If you need anything, just let me know. Oh, uh, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, how much can you says otherwise? Yeah, should be good. Mm hmm Take your time. Hi. There you are, sir. Hello, Misty. Hi, Howdy, how are you? Like I'm doing well enough. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. No complaints. That's good. And that one's on me. So I mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you very are much. You, you wanted to perform, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm read, hoping to read actually, tonight if you're happy. Like, yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yeah, In yeah. In a way, it's a performance. Talk to Over. Just you. I will uh, oh, let you know when you're ready. Or, and, uh, oh, I could give. I don't really have a lineup. I was going yeah. to see, to um, see who would be interested Thank first, and then go from there. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. That's all right. I'm in no mm -hmm. hurry, so. Yeah. All righty. Do you remember? Wonderful. Sorry, Doctor. I ordered you a brandy just because I remember you saying you were partial to it. You're the fella I see uh, all the time in Valentine now, you're not. Uh, yes. Uh, I do tend to base myself over there from time to time. You don't well, remember I just my get... name, do you? I might have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's Dr. Godson. Atticus. Ah, Atticus, yes, that is it. Well, we might have needed your services earlier over at Valentine. Hmm? Could have oh. shoot him a bit of a stabbing. Oh, hmm. no. Okay, well. Wow. Hmm. Yes, apparently Matt Dina shot Edwin, and apparently a, a fellow named Peter stabbed Hank. Oh, Jeez. my goodness. I mean, it's Valentine. Well, no. I'm not surprised, but... Yes, well, excitement always happens in Valentine, and no one's dead, which is good. Hmm. Yeah, I get all the time. Brothers. <laughs> yes. Days I don't know if I someone... Well, you know, people like to get the point across mainly by stabbing someone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's usually how it goes. Well, people like to live on the edge with these knives. <laughs> yes, oh I do agree. Knife edge, <laughs> I see what you did there. You missed the first one as well. They get to the point of things. 
Oh, no, I heard it. I just didn't want to bring it to light, <laughs> lest somebody <laughs> uh, take it too sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I may it? have had a bit too much brandy. <laughs> you need to get the handle of mm, Never too much. Is. Never too much. Oh, um, you're the uh, lady who's actually um, in charge of this uh, establishment, aren't you, madam? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Um... I hope you don't mind me asking, just for the sake of everyone per present, but I presume there's security uh, in case things tend to take a turn we for the worse? We do have security, yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're okay. Mm. Um, we are armed in case anything were to happen. Oh, that's good because I'm um, I'm sure that we all have our own armaments, but uh, given the alcohol, but it might be not a good idea for us to, you know, mm -hmm. shoot. Right, doctor. I don't want to start so early, you know. Fair enough. I'm doctor, ma'am. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I, I think he's hey, also been taken hey. in by the hey, brandy there, as well. Oh, I didn't recognize him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I know that great. I can take care of myself Can't quite um, well. Do we have yeah, anyone peas and I know a fair bit of pugilism? Um, not that it's shown up yet. It's very fair enough. Aware. All right. But uh, folks are just starting you to should have seen in, me in so. the ring yesterday. Right, perfect. <laughs> what? You were fighting? Yes. Wow. I, uh, I partake in the occasional fight from time to time. It was oh. a good little bout yesterday in the lion's den. You should have been there. Good to see you. I would have loved to, but I uh, was finding myself in Blackwater, as you can imagine, with the... Uh, Issues. <clears throat> ah, yes, issues. I, I did hear there were some issues close to Blackwater. <laughs> Curious to know what happened. Oh, there always tends to be issues either in Blackwater or Valentine, and with the uh, uh, the Kettleman's about, I it's uh, it's a bit of a dangerous situation. Do watch out, everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, who are the Kettleman's? Sorry, I've just popped myself down in between you two gents. Just so. no, no. <laughs> Oh my god, what was it? Uh, not Eloise, um... Uh, Eliza? Hi, no. Bella, welcome Cecily. to the Corrigan. Cecily, that's right, I don't know why well, thank I... You. Although thank you. Although Pygmalion, Eliza, I, get you uh, anything, I can see sir. the resemblance. <laughs> Sorry. I'm good, thank you, though. Any of you All fine right. people welcome, want to explain welcome. to this lady who the Kettlemans are? Uh, the oh. Kettleman Group is a very long-standing uh, organization of people who partake in nefarious and dubious activities from time to time. Robert, come here. Ketterman's been, shot, Ketterman's been shot, stabbed, thrown off something, possibly hit by a horse, I can oh. only assume. He's pretty much been through everything, and he's still alive. Uh. Oh. He's, he's probably more scar tissue than man at this point. <laughs> so a Frankenstein of sorts. <laughs> Well, he's still a conversationalist, and he's yeah, not going to be wandering around fun. scared of fire, but uh, ah, he's a tough fellow. There it goes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and oh, one you heaven. never want to cross. Well, I, I, I think I've heard about him. I don't know. He sounds interesting. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen him, though. I don't, I I've seen him from time to time, so even at my time in Sisica. Never had a long-standing conversation with him. So that right. you're not by yourself. Really? Me hmm. I'm so oh, sorry because I this, this is wrong, the... but is that Daniel Old at the one. end of the bar? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, hello, a uh, friend of uh, Mr. Lockjaw. Yep, that's is, right. Is he still intoxicated? Yeah. Over there. I think so. uh, oh, yes. Yeah, not right now. I think he's pretty sober minded last I talked to him. Uh, he kind of hey, wandered Ms. off a minute ago. So. Hey, could I talk for <laughs> yep. you? Can I talk with you for a moment? If you don't yes, mind. of course. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, sorry, oh. I was talking to Bestie. <laughs> oh, my oh sorry, I thought you said Mister. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to hear that oh. dear Lockjaw is getting the right treatment and that he's sobered up now. Uh, I don't know if he's getting the right bit. treatment. Um, uh, oh. His jaw, um, he does not want to talk to a doctor about his jaw. Hmm. He is refuses there... to take the serum from the doctor. Serum? Yeah, I don't know. The doctor said they had some sort of serum for Lockjaw, yeah, and he, he Look, refuses to take it. Well, it's probably advisable that he does, sir. From the sounds of things, it's going to be quite detrimental to his overall health. It, yeah. From what I gathered, he has uh, a, a fear of a contracting a tetanus. Yeah, his brother oh, really? died in a controlled medical environment. Okay, fair enough. 
Oh, well, there was an incident up in New York fairly recently. <sighs> oh, okay. right, right, right. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, you too. Hmm. That might be an issue. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I suggest he, he's, bark. he's just a little terrified. I don't know. Mind you, that could work. There are a number mm -hmm. of natural remedies that could be found from the crossing. Uh, a few extracts or such that you know could help his case. But yeah, he'd have to uh, be is in there a, a situation out, to listen. Is there an outhouse anywhere around here that I can go to? Mm, I don't think you can. Though. I think there might be some on the docks. Oh, yeah. um, hmm. Hmm, but there not be one in one of the rooms upstairs. Oh really? Uh, oh, I'll yeah. go look. Thank you. Uh, well, not there, at least be a bedpan. Yeah, I'll figure it out. A bedpan. <laughs> if not, there's always over the side know. of the ship. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, you could just head out to the side door, some double doors right there to the right or left, and I'll take you right to the uh, I'm, I'm sorry. side of the boat. Yeah, sorry. pretty good. Trying to plan uh, a. Um, actually, I need to start selling tickets. We we're planning a speed dating event. Speed dating? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I've seen tickets. this happen before. <laughs> it's a hmm. I've seen speed dating once before. Well, I mean, it's a good way to meet people. Well, Howdy, man. Yeah, Can I get you anything? Great. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's me, Ailish, Robert. Oh, oh Ailish. I'd like oh, to express no my interest, if possible. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed real quick, so... I mean, why not? Alright. I would like to sponsor this event if I could, so that mm -hmm. I could promote the act okay, that I would provide mm -hmm. couples therapy sessions. Ah, <laughs> uh, an investment. Oh, I thought exactly. you were that it was, like... You could uh, invest in it for the couple's therapy, uh, and I, perhaps I could invest to uh, find something to write about. Sorry, I thought you were in the, the next great Romeo and Juliet. Or oh, perhaps the next <laughs> great <laughs> tragedy. Like, uh, wow, well, Romeo and Juliet is a tragedy. <laughs> oh no, something far worse <laughs> oh, and a the bit other more dramatic. Um, like, Elliot uh, is writing a play, uh, and we're going to My put God, on something a involving Zeus. Oh, heavens. <laughs> does, it involve a, does it involve a swan? Everything <sighs> involving Zeus perhaps. is a tragedy. I mean, oh. <laughs> with Cora and Vivian gone, I figured I might start just throwing in my events and shit. Anything with Zeus is going to be a real yeah. shocker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. So that, I think, will be the grand opening. It'll be uh, this play. Howdy. Is that you, Barry? Howdy, fella. <gasps> I have a very Hi. strong feeling that tonight's going to finish in that in gonna be days. very colorful. So maybe a few weeks. How are you, my lovely? Have you seen me, Atticus? Yes. You're you're feeling yeah. So that's well, two fun events coming up. I doubt I throw a that you're feeling party rather blue. Also. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that came out of the blue from you. Yeah. Howdy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I'm it did. I'm doing fine. How are you? No, she's probably very busy right now. Good. It's good to see Is you. Is them yeah. supposed to be jokes? They're puns, puns my good sir. What's that? That doesn't yeah. sound like a real oh, word. No, you're just fine. Uh, a pun is uh, like a play on words. Welcome, welcome. Huh. Where you you relate to a topic yeah, with a word. It, it's weird to describe, but it's a, it's a yeah, feeling. Yeah, yeah. And it sometimes generates a particular um, response from a person. It could be positive. Or they could groan and collapse upon the floor in embarrassment. Yeah. It's frankly oh, enthralling exactly. to witness. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Huh? Alex, I like to instill humor into these conversations to lighten them more than to ease tensions. Puns can dismantle oh, yeah. any sort of aggression. Hello again, That's pretty clever. Maybe. Something, well, something like is the best medicine? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, for from times they do Ooh, escalate like it in rare like instances. That. It looks very beautiful. Oh. I appreciate Hi. it. Hi, how are you, Robert? I am well. How are you? Would you like some drink? Yeah, could I get. A gin and an Irish whiskey. Like last time. Yeah. Uh, of course. Um, did you want to perform anything, or were you just okay? a gin and an Irish whiskey? Looks like you're planning to have a very fun night, madam. Did you uh, want to yeah, perform you know, anything, or were you good just reason to get drunk any time? Oh God, but yes, no, I fully agree. I heard that. Uh, I'll do the laundry. Much agreed. Right. Okay. Yeah. Could I snag an Irish whiskey as well, if you have a moment? Oh yeah, yes, yeah, sir. for sure. I understand. So what's everybody's yeah, names? I don't think yeah, I know most we'll, of you. Uh, I will check in with you as the night goes on. I'm Jade. Uh, I different. You are wanting to. Oh, Jade! <laughs> good to see you. Nice to meet you, You Jade. look nice. Uh, Thanks. I appreciate it. 
Um, we oh, are just going to take it as it goes. No I am Dr. Cornelius Orvid. Oh, wait, I did meet you yesterday. Um, it's, I plan on um, I think. Oh, yes. A small Maybe. Event. Yeah. I think. Uh, because we got wait, a how much? I, was it? This one, you know? oh, I don't like, know. Um, I don't remember, like but I remember the name. Um, um, I'm glad to be recognized. <laughs> I think uh, you'll also be able to recognize me, the oh, gentleman in the red I coat. Him. I am Dr. Absolutely. Atticus Godson. Atticus Godson. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I've not familiar. Oh, two gentlemen requested a rum, or rather I? a uh, Irish whiskey. I don't oh, that was so, no, I, me. I would just recognize somebody as, um, well, uh, alluring as you. Oh, you're so sweet. How do <laughs> Thank you. I think it's the brandy. That's uh, just $2, sir. Oh, well, I, I and you miss? Oh, sir, uh, Cecily. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, of course. What is it? Cecily? Sesam uh, Sesame? Cecily. Like the country, <laughs> but with an E. Yeah, yeah. Cecily. <laughs> got it. Yeah. How you doing? Don't you I made the exact like same Cecilia, mistake yesterday. With a y. Cecilia. Yeah, I, I was about to say, I'm, I cannot be the only person that's ever done this. Poetry, I believe. Uh, we got back mm -hmm. from Borma like two days ago. And well, nice to meet you all. I'm Dahlia. So you've been good. Oh, hello, Dahlia. Dahlia. Charmed. Mm -hmm. oh. And for those of you I haven't met, I'm Elliot Teller, poet and good for nothing. Ah, Mr. No, Teller, I think I saw some of your work. Uh, you may have, there's a couple know. pieces posted here and there by my various clients. Oh yes, I think I saw something uh, quite deftly and not too far from here, to the north. Ah, yes, 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 the uh, the graveyard piece. Uh, oh, there you go, me. Ah, yes, that's huh. exactly. Yes, that was... Uh, uh, a commission. Uh, oh. Commission? I would be interested to Indeed. know who exactly commissioned that. I was interested about the whole Baron Samadhi situation. Yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not meant to be a secret. That, uh, although I only know him as Diego. I don't know his last name. But if you've met Diego, you'll know who I mean. Diego. Diego. Oh. You know him, I think? He's uh, quite rule. a storyteller. Yes, I would be... Run oh, into the gentleman. It. Oh yeah, yeah I've met him. Kid, really. Yes, he has sort of a he thick is. accent. Yep. Lovely, lovely, hmm. lovely man. Sure, I'll try one. I would be enthralled to meet with this Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, about this whole Samadhi. Um, from what I understand, he's a um, well, he's a, a sort of a deity based in a sort of pseudo-African religion or something like that. I, I don't pretend to know much about it, but. Um, sure, you pick. I just wrote from what he told me. Oh, there's Alright, you said. Oh, wait, are we talking about the guy that prays yeah, to the trees or whatever? Scotch whiskey. I don't believe he prays to the trees, but maybe. Oh, right. There's a guy that prays to the trees uh, and has a whole ritual do, around here. Really? But I believe we have yeah. Some, hmm. um, there's all sorts of interesting uh, characters around here. Spirits, um, yes, I've read a great deal of interest in religions. Like ones that pray to an albino alligator called Bojangles. Oh, I know. That I'm I got stabbed by them. Uh, I gave him mm. one there was also the incident of right. the star father, a man who believed himself to be a descendant of a being from the stars. Uh, for a pack of the sweets, hmm. I believe it's uh, ten dollars. I also met a group who prays to the sun and the soil and wore themselves in dirt and consumed questionable hey. fungi. Ah, uh, right. Uh, that sounds, sounds like my fun. I think I've heard of yes. those. Did they call themselves the Saplings? So ten for the pack of cigarettes and six for the. Let me where see the them for you first. Oh my! I think it wear ragged like clothing. Wear blindfold. Thank you. Because that's what they look like. Very strange group. All right, I will be back momentarily, folks. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, we just sounds... simply have to say. Mm -hmm. Praise the sun and the soil, and they would just throw themselves upon the ground, especially on Valentine, even the schmud. To make some conversation for us. Mm. The schmud is good for the skin. Oh, is that, that at each other, up? Ronnie? Oh. Hello, yes. Hello. Uh, 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 don't worry, you don't have to remember my name. <laughs> oh, Cecily. Cecily, that's From it. You're Van the lovely right. Yeah, that's it. Van 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 yet to come in for that fry up. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting. Howdy, Hello. howdy, how's everybody doing? Hello. Evening. Hi. Hello. Yes. Good, thank you. Well, to be fair, actually, the good doctor uh, Orbit did head in there earlier, but I think you were all on your way out. Oh. Hey, Misty. Howdy. Hey, hey, Misty. Of course. How you doing? Perfect. I'm good. How are you feeling? Preferably. I'm okay, yeah. I'm good. 
Miss, you don't have any pipe tobacco or, here, do you? Preferably Plymouth. If you um, have we will have to check, check and see. Board. I think we might actually. If you do, I'd love to purchase some. But if not, no worries. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Um, Elliot, did you want to read mm -hmm. some stuff first? Uh, sure, I just want to yes, prepare so we can, um, you know, get a little, get a little, you know, hop in here. It really is. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, yeah, I have a few pieces, <laughs> okay. uh, and I'm, I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, right. wonderful. Um, yeah, let me make sure we are not waiting for people that are outside, and then yeah, sure. I'll do my talking and then go from there. Excellent. <laughs> I'll be, yeah, I'll be back. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you, Ailish. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm about to go on stage, can't do it sober. <laughs> I hear that. Uh, you want a love club a drink, please? Of course. What can I get you? Uh, you got any lucky muffin? <laughs> lucky muffin? Uh, is that... What? Okay, so... you definitely got me there. <laughs> oh, it's that, oh, it's that, it's that, it's that, it's that rum. You know, all the way from Guama. You don't stock it. I, I would have to check with Missy. I've been gone for a couple of days, but. Sorry. Uh, all right, fuck it. Just a scotch will do. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Neither. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 I ordered a nice bottle of rum and uh, I don't have it. So. Oh, lad. Alcohol is alcohol. If it does the job, it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. That's don't true. say that. I don't think you'll know I mean, the difference. Yeah, that's the... fucking heat. Go on. Fourth What's a lucky muffin? <laughs> I think Jesus you'll be thinking, Christ, man, this sure is what I was wanting. All right, here you go, huh? Oh, lovely. Close it, yeah. Yeah, do you want to come around? Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be easier. Oh, oh, why? Oh, it's the, it's the roulette table. I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> that? Nimble on your feet, though. Uh. All right, that'd be six dollars, hon. Thank you. I was. Oh my stars! So we'll read the <laughs> Saint Denis poem. By the way, we'll read, read the gambler's poem and then we'll read the new one. I think Australia is as oh, well. Oh, were you the gentleman oh. that was doing the school there in Valentine? Uh, yes. Yes, I was. Oh my god, I missed I your think... class. I'm so sorry, sir. I was wanting to go. My no, no, it's all right. Um, <laughs> you think no, it's Tell us that you? We, uh, we had hmm? a fun yes, session yes. with uh, uh, Ailish, Ailish right? Bingler. Of course, it's um, nice to see you again. Very good to see you again as well, with, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm wearing good. So slightly, headmistress good. slightly different garb. Although I think um, I might need to replace this sweater. I've noticed a hole well in the shoulder. Well overall, just, um... <laughs> Uh, Perhaps uh, a few people more the at the end would have been nice. But no, I mean, there's always next week oh, if you God. both wish to attend. Right. Yeah, that, I'll try to make it. Um, right. it what what day do you normally have it on? Uh, Fridays, I believe. All right. All right. Well, I'll try to make it. Excellent. Also, you Actually, should have uh, a new yeah. mascot for your little school as well, Atticus. Reverse robbery. Oh, a reverse? How does that oh, work? Yeah, mm. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Alrighty, oh, oh, everybody. well. Did you make okay, charitable. Like uh oh, hey, I guess there's uh, hmm. weird. Oh, looks Apparently like we're about to get started. Boxes for Ooh. Them, uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, I'm excited for this. What, what are you going to do up there to, on the stage, uh, sir? Take uh, time to, I might say, I don't know. I'm sorry. Welcome, everybody, here yeah. back to the Corrigan if you've been here before and um, welcome to the Corrigan if it's your first time being here. Um, feel free to enjoy yourself on the roulette tables and the crap tables. Um, we will be starting performances here soon. Um, make sure you get your drinks at the bar. We also have uh, any food if you need. Um, we have premium alcohol bottles that we uh, will be serving tonight for $10 a bottle um, oh, and all that information you can find out at the bar um, if you wish to come up on the stage and perform some things make sure you check in at the bar first so we can get your name down on the list and then uh, call you up and check in with you uh, when we are ready for you um, 
So thank you guys again for being here. And, you know, of course, we'll uh, get right into the performances. Oh, um, let me just say that uh, I already thank you guys like five million times. But um, for those that have been to one of our events before, thank you again for that support. I do appreciate that. Um, so starting out with uh mr elliot teller he will be reading us some uh poems right elliot um correct and, yes uh, oh, we will so no, don't, don't, don't worry it's ears. not as cringe as it sounds i promise <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great i'm excited so please welcome um elliot thank you mr <laughs> All right, so I have uh, three pieces for you. Um, in my opinion, each better than the last. I'll start with a poem I wrote about Saint Denis. Okay. Having trouble getting in my pockets. Bear with me. Oh. No, no. Uh, now I know my words have been wont to spawn violence in the past, but I don't think that's necessary here. We need time to just keep going. Sorry about that. All right. So assuming the boxing match is over, I shall begin. <laughs> this poem is simply called Saint Denis. A city lies to south and east, where factories roar out like beasts, with power lines and paved roads, and even several fine commodes. The future, you can plainly see, begins and ends in Saint Denis. While industry and buildings high are often first to catch the eye, there's more beyond the steel and stone than you had previously known. Just step inside any saloon in this fair kingdom, and very soon, I'm more than certain you will find you've left the mundane world behind. For in spite of all the smoke and ash, here you'll find a massive cache of creativity and art. There's people here with so much heart, you hear the beating all around. It makes the most triumphant sound, like galloping of mighty steeds, with riders set to noble deeds. And like heroes and legends told, these artists are the brave and bold. For more than slaying dragons fierce, their works are set the soul to pierce. And that is why, since landing here, to search the wild crossing deer, I've hardly left this fucking town, because good people here abound. I thank you for your time to tell why Saint Denis is dope as hell. Thank you. <laughs> so that Very is the good. first. Loved it. The um, the second piece was actually commissioned by our own uh, Captain Ezra Thatcher, who is uh, managing this fine establishment at the moment. Um, it is sort of a piece on just sort of the state of the crossing as we know it at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Give me just a moment. Marry me, Ezra. Wrong book. All right, here we go. We had some sort of grand uh, title for this poem, but I don't remember what it is, so I'm just going to read it to you. It goes like this. If you've spent any real time in these parts, you've most likely noticed a malady spreading. It takes root in ambitious or valiant hearts and poisons them, turns them to people worth dreading. The illness is ignorance, ego, and spite. Seems it's spread to the law and the outlaw in kind. Where once there was commerce, now there are fights. Where once empathy reigned, we've turned blind. This is not a cynical calling of dread. We are not so lost that we cannot be found. All it requires is talking instead of waving your big floppy cock all around. A wise person thinks before pulling a gun, you'll catch more flies with honey than smoke. By speaking, we'll undo the damage we've done and repair all the bridges we broke. Okay. The crossing is home to a great many sort and each with a charm all their own. But unity is of the greatest import. Remember, you're never alone. Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah. I've got one more before I relieve you all uh, from my constant prattling. This one is a commission I've only just finished. Um, I was commissioned for a love poem, but I'm not often inspired by love. So uh, what resulted was something of a comedic and fictional uh, oh. tale. And it goes like this. Okay. 
Love has always seemed to me a horrid sort of malady, worth little more than pain sat in the bank. And if I tell you honestly, my heart is broken chronically, and I've no one but myself for that to thank. Away I went to Rhodes to find a bottle I could hide behind, and lost myself to blackjack stew and booze. The parlor house is, to my mind, the best place to escape the grind, but it was more than money this night I would lose. When you walked into the door, I couldn't know what was in store, but I knew that just to see you was a blessing. You had my heart and hand before I realized it was gone, and sure enough, it wasn't long till we're undressing. Our night was full of passion, and after our lustful smashing, I had dozed off like a fawn in sunlit glade. I awoke among the trash and realized, un after a fashion, the horrible mistake that I had made. Alone amongst the refuse and naked as a plucked goose, I searched, but you were nowhere to be found. Shortly I had deduced, my belongings all had vimoosed, and I was left a nude and foolish clown. From that day I did swear that no man or woman anywhere would take from me my tender heart again. Although I'd say your derriere was worth this whole horrid affair, except you stole my favorite fucking pen. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. okay. Jeez. Okay, thank you again, Elliot, for those poems. Always good. Poems are always good. Um, so, next known? up, we will be having Excuse me. Um, Vera come oh, up and also read go. you guys something. Look, um, I dare awful. you to find a better poem so, in all the crossing. Don't, uh, well, I did just don't, don't doesn't really matter if it's the best poem, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, well then, I'm more uh, than happy to offend. In. Um, there you go. Get your drinks. If you are hungry, you can just not for meal. some people, you know. Um, also, if you are having can't be forcing your poetry sure upon everyone. Lower your voice. No one's forcing you to stand here, especially friend. When, you know, people are reading things. So, um, <laughs> oh, I didn't mean yeah, to thank offend. you guys again for being here. And uh, if you can talk with the crowd to keep your virtue, thank or you, walk with kids, yeah, nor lose the yeah, common yeah. touch. <laughs> if neither foes nor loving <laughs> friends can <laughs> hurt you, if all men count you. Uh, you, my name's Vera, done too much. Vera Adley, and I just, uh, I if have you can fill the unforgiving well, minute that I'll be reading. with 60 seconds worth a distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's that in it, short. and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Yeah, let me get this pocketbook. Ugh. That wasn't a bad one. Hey! Yeah, that was a pretty good one. I can write it. Wasn't bored. Well, I didn't write that one. It was uh, Rudolph Kipling. All right. My favorite poet. The uh, the first piece is called "Married," and I want to marry you under the light of the morning sun in the early spring, when the birds are singing and the flowers bloom, covered and drops of dew. I want to marry you in a meadow, barefoot, with a crown of roses upon my brow, where I hold your hands in mine, and I look into your eyes, knowing that I have found you at last. And I want to marry you for your soul, to share my bed and let you inside my head, where we kiss and hold each other tight in the still of night. I want to marry you, but I haven't found you yet. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm not single. I love that. <laughs> Should I bury? <laughs> hey, yeah, I like that. Well, yeah, that yeah, was well not done. too bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was fantastic. Okay, well, that's what I didn't know. Do we clap it after each one? I'm not sure. Which is a, a bit more somber, but it's called Pendulum. There are two parts to every story. There are two halves of your brain. Ronnie, would you like to go next? And two halves of your heart. Uh, yeah, sure. And just okay. like so, Wonderful. I am torn apart. People often ask me what I want. That is a question I cannot answer. For my heart swings to and fro like a pendulum. Because how silly is it to openly admit 
that what I deeply desire is quite natural indeed. A gentleness for a soul so battered and bruised. A tenderness hey, uh, sweet and simple. Wrong, can I you for Ask one? Ask for it, they would oh, say. Where? But in doing so, I open up a piece of my heart, vulnerable oh, to being taken away, on. used and cast astray. But when the hour is late and my heart is grieving for what I yearn to have, I want nothing more than to be enveloped tenderly, oh, gently, soothed. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Oh, my stars. Yeah, yeah, well done. Thank you, Vera. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, no, Quite a while. Love that. I just want to keep the music. Okay. Oh, oh, so. oh, Bravo. Oh, you just stopped it forever. That's amazing, Vera. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, my. Okay, said... thank you, Vera, for coming. Oh, I think she said, said excuse me. Because, um, of course. They were very beautiful, the delivery. Thank you. It's amazing. <laughs> um. So, moving on, you know, my announcements that I've been saying the last, you know, 10, 20 minutes. Again, make sure you go to the bar and get your drinks if you're thirsty. Do you want anything more to drink? We have food, too. I think I'm okay um, for now. How about you? Also, just going to plug oh, okay, in okay. that we do offer packages here at the Corrigan. So, if you are wanting a romantic date night... Or maybe you just want to have a party here at the Corrigan. Uh, please refer to our guest packages, you know, around the booths. You will find those. Um, mm. So, yes, get a drink, get some food, and enjoy the entertainment. Next up, we have Ronnie coming to the stage. Hey. Um, so, let's go, oh, yeah. Ronnie. Ronnie! Yay! Hello, everyone! Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Ronnie! I want to warn you now, I can't fucking sing. I'm going to sing a song to you. Oh no. <laughs> Should we go to the other oh, side? Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. Yeah. Alright, let's get started, alright? On the 14th of May, at the dawn of the day, with my gun on my shoulder, to the woods I did stray, in search of some game. If the weather proved fair, to see, could I get a shot at the body black hair? Oh, I met a young girl there. Her face is a rose, and her skin was as fair as the lily that blows. Go I on. say, fair maiden, why mumble you so? Can you tell me where the body black hair do go? Oh, the answer she gave me, her answer was no. But it's under my apron, they say it do go. And if you'll not deceive me, I vow and declare, we'll both go together to hunt the body black hair. Well, I laid this girl down with her face to the sky, and I took up my ramrod and my bullets likewise. I say, lock your leg round me and dig in with your heels, for the closer we get, oh, the better it feels. The birds they were singing in the bushes and trees, and the song that they sang, oh, she was easy to please. I felt her heart quiver, and I knew what I'd done. Says I, have you had enough of my old sporting gun? Oh, <laughs> I heard this guy sing the other day. Make sure to tell him to yell so we can hear him it's over not there at the bar as well. Sportman, oh, but you okay, come okay, this yeah. way, and if your powder is willing, and your bullets play fair, why don't you keep firing at the body black hair? Oh, my powder is wasted. And my bullet's all gone. My land, my ramrod is limp. And I cannot <laughs> fire on. But I'll be oh, back oh, in wow. the morning. And if you're still here, we'll both go together to hunt the body black hair. <laughs> Bravo! Wonderful! Wonderful! That's amazing. Touch me. Better make sure that rifles gleam. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> wonderful song. All right. Um, again, with the announcements, make sure if you are thirsty, you get you a, a nice drink from the bar. If you are hungry, that you can meet at the bar too. Yeah, if you are so wanting nice. to brace the stage Thank with your you. talents, um, make sure that you check in at the bar. Um, and every basically, if you need anything at all, just make sure you ask one of us here at the Corrigan so we can take care of you. 
Um, next up, we will be having Miss Dahlia race the stage. She is going to share a song with you all. So um, let's give her an applause and welcome. Best of luck. All right, come on, Dahlia. Yeah, Dahlia. Yeah, Ooh. that was that's gonna be a pretty tough. Out of an to entrance. Follow. Yeah, it's gonna be no pressure, you know. <laughs> um, you yeah. got this. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I'm just gonna sing a song. It's not as <laughs> exciting as that one was, but uh, yeah. Okay. I'll be right back, chat. You guys can hear it okay? Loud and clear. Skylar, have you anything to say to me? Absolutely yeah, amazing. Oh that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you very Wonderful much. Wonderful as always, Talia. Oh. I was song. nervous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, Mom, great, <laughs> All right. Um, at this time, we will take a uh, brief intermission before we get into a few more performances. Please uh, grab yourself a drink. Feel free to play some games. Um, and mingle a little bit and we'll get back to it in just a bit okay guys uh if you need anything at all please make sure you reach out to a Corrigan staff member and yeah enjoy yourself for a bit and we'll get back right to it okay all right lovely right. okay i've been on that, Thanks, that, that yeah, <laughs> yeah go to go Let's to the bar get you a drink Oh, With I'm sorry. Me. Sorry, this is gonna go on here. Got a hundred, got a hundred dollars down here. I love oh, that no. <laughs> I'm not with that. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, you made me all nervous. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's all right. <laughs> you were a lot uh, better sure. than me. How could I compete? No. Oh, come all on. Right, let's like go. Oh, hmm. You're with everyone over. Me? I'm feeling like, uh, let's go black. Hey, it's nerve wracking yeah. standing up like there. Like someone who can though. Yeah, but I, I don't usually get nervous. Oh, I do this all the time. Oh, yeah. oh, oh really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the best of luck, my dad. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't show you. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I'm gonna go get some fresh air. I'll be there after that. Yeah, I think the concern is right now. We'll just find someone who can play. Maybe Dahlia would. I'll just be outside. You know, that's a good question. 
Yeah, yeah, and well, thank you. Thing mm -hmm. you have to mm -hmm. go and no get. problem at all. Any moment now. He likes to make you sweat for it. I know. He's trying to spin me around to madness. What do we have here? Oh, does she? Do we have here? Come on, give me black. Please. Fourteen. What's fourteen? Damn it! Uh, fuck. Awkward. <laughs> All right. I still got fifty dollars left. But uh, that'll be hmm. Yeah, yeah, just something just in the background. I don't know. I'm going to go black. Oh, I think he's over there at the bar. Dara. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go fifty. Dahlia's gonna uh, All in. put on a piano real quick. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, it's um, it's a blues. I hope that that is. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it should be. Um. My dear Cecily, I wish for you to bestow upon me the best of luck, please. Oh, you can have all of my luck. So, oh, wow. oh, thank you. Oh, I remember just don't die. Dumb luck, though. Well, sometimes dumb luck is the best kind of luck, and I need all sorts of luck. Whatever you... I don't want to pressure you, so whatever you would like to do, by all means. I just don't want to do it. You're my lucky charm, my darling. I'll do my best. That's good. <laughs> uh, if not, I'll be crippled financially for years. Yeah. I'm, I'm teasing. I, uh, this is hardly anything. All right, come on now. Give me black, please. Fifty because I feel better. Sure okay, fifty. Thirty-three, thirty-three. Yes. Okay, well done. <laughs> All right, I'm back I'm to being sure even again. Now last in the line. I can give you some on house if you'd like. All right, I'm thinking. Great, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. Some words. And then Alish. Oh, it's alright. Put thirty dollars down, I think. Um, I'm going to read. Howdy, fella. No, black hat. Can't quite hear you. Would you like something? Virgo, and then. Are you enjoying your time here then, my dear uh, Cecily? Then would you like to say any words? Oh, yes, on the boat. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, that's fine. Would you like something, sir? He is truly a splendor <laughs> to this place. To <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. What's your name still there at the end? Uh, you, and there, I'm gonna do a black bass. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Come down and see. Was over. You've been abandoned with me again, Jared. I'm sorry. Are you alright? You seem a little down. No, yeah, that one. Down or alright? Well, um. They call me Wise Barry. I've always got an air out. So if you ever need an air. I swear I've met Barry before. Mm -hmm. I can't I'm a good listener. I might have read the other day. I do have a B written here. Do you ever need to talk? I'm a good listener. This is what I was trying to get up. And I think he introduced me to their... Uh... This bear looks so small in my hand. <laughs> it's like I'm drinking a bear, a bear for babies. <laughs> I'm only allowed the small bears. So I'm not old enough yet. Um, I'm okay. 
I'm uh, still a bit on the groggy side. I normally am when I wake up here. <sighs> for quite a while. And then I'll be perk up. That's why I don't want to perform when I'm in this state, you know. I can't get over on Marvel if you look. I think I've ever seen you wear a dress before. Well, did you wear a dress last time? You were hmm. Ah, there we are. Yeah, I like how you went and got that hard. Well Perfect. Thank Alrighty, you. Alrighty, everybody. We, uh, uh, if you will turn your attention back to the stage here, we will continue on with our open stage night here. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself thus far. We just have a few more performances and, you know, we don't want to keep you guys too long. We'll let you get back to uh, partying, of course. Um, I thank you guys all again for being here and giving us your time. Um, and just a reminder, we do offer packages here at the Corrigan. So if you are looking for that romantic date night with your lover, or you want to host your birthday party, bachelorette, bachelor, maybe Ooh. a divorce party, we oh. do those too. Now we're talking. Um, <laughs> Ooh, I want a breakup party. Uh, check for those uh, package flyers around the core yeah, again. I think near that's the what booth. they said. Um, as well as our food menus and our drink menus over at the bar. <laughs> um, so now that we are back, I will be um, reading one of my personal writings for you guys. Um, and I don't, I don't do this often, so I'm a little nervous. But I hope you guys Love it. Um, do enjoy this. Yeah. Oh, hold on. There we go. Had to get my book out. <laughs> I don't think that the other players hear the like hooting and hollering that my character does when I clap. Hopefully. So, um, I wrote this for Captain Ezra Thatcher. Um, mm -hmm. he is my love. Um, so I wrote a little something for him. So it goes, um, <clears throat> all right. Everybody, everybody can hear me, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, it goes, uh, your eyes warm with love, a love yearning so deep. There's never a doubt in the world. Your feelings for me, Pardon me. dark, but strong. Nevertheless, <laughs> as they look into this beaten soul, and see the unbearable pain that is a broken girl. Your eyes, never judging, always forgiving, seeing the trouble, but not straying from it. Witnessing trouble, witnessing violence, but also seeking answers, also seeking the truth. Those eyes can see through the slightest of bullshit, the smallest of lies, and the most questionable acts. Your eyes, never to lie, always to protect and shield broken eyes from danger, never to blind them, but to open them wider to the clearest of perspectives. Your eyes provide sincerity, safety, and above all else, security for the broken eyes that have seen nothing but despair. <clears throat> the eyes that have only seen sadness, but when those eyes connect, it's a force, an undeniable connection of the purest love. Your eyes give the broken grace. It gives the broken patience. It gives the broken hope. These eyes given the broken a chance to live again, a chance to smile again, and a chance to learn. Learn to spread the same love, patience, and grace to others. Your eyes provide sanctuary for broken eyes, repairing it and aiding it to witness the new dawn life doesn't die life is reborn and life is restored life is restored with just a look into your eyes 
Thank you, guys. I love that. Bravo. Ooh, terrific. Well done. It's beautiful. Yeah. Very good. Uh, it was a very, good. very good, ma'am. Thank you, guys. Okay. Beautiful. So, um, Lovely stuff. I appreciate that. Um, we up next. We will have Miss Vera. Um, yeah. Accompanied by Miss Dahlia, um, giving you a little fire dance. So, um, <laughs> if you want to turn your attention to the left side of, well, my left, you're you're right. I'm sorry. Um, of the corrigan ne next to the bar, just look towards the bar. We we will have Vera do her dance. All right, Dahlia, are you ready? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Look towards the bar. You'll you'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, Dahlia. Yep. Excuse me. Do not enter this area. Noses we can without getting burnt. Oh lord. I'm not gonna take a few What's, steps yes. back. Uh, you're a doctor, right? It's about to get out here. So. Yeah. Uh, you got this. <laughs> I did with the you traumatic event that might proceed. Wait, should I go over there or should I stay here? Well, it might be oh, a little too hot to, to handle for the <laughs> attic that's behind me. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, all right. I'll just, I'll start, okay? Yeah, go for it. He's about to fire it up. Oh, my. <laughs> What am I looking at here? <laughs> I had plenty of money, 1892. Light of the wind, make a fool of you. I don't know. Okay, I see what she's trying to do. That's cool. It's interesting, yeah. Get out of here and give me some money, too. Now the fire's really dim. I wonder if it looks different to her than it does to us. I hope. Oh, I hope. I hope. I don't know what I hope. I wonder what it looks like to her, because it looks. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, it must not look to her how it looks to us. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's just me. Maybe my shit's bugging. <laughs> don't, don't I find me? I can't save you from flames. I'm so sorry. I just thought perhaps it would be a good idea. <laughs> you had prepared 20 years ago. Yep. You were be wandering out from door to door. Why don't you do right? Like some other men. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's it's. <laughs> oh my god! It looks insane. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. This is something else. Yeah, that's that's I something entirely else. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I I think I am. Beautiful. Thank you, Dahlia. Yeah. What'd you guys think of that? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm I've never seen somebody move so quickly in my entire life. <laughs> I've never had that. <laughs> oh, that's such I think a the shame. Flames were too so I'm, okay. I'm just thinking it must have looked very hey, different well from her perspective. Right. Is what I'm yeah. thinking. That's heat. Thank you again, I'm Dahlia. thinking. Yeah. I, I, I just want to make sure it, the flames were too dim for us. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. She, uh, she must have drunk a lot. Sure it wasn't just my ass. I think she's been drinking too much tea. Oh, you call it tea now? <laughs> I think she's been drinking too much tea. Yeah. I, I do see what you uh, what you've done there. Yeah. A lot of tea. Oh, that's Jesus. Good. <laughs> that's a shame. I hope not everyone saw that. I hope not too. She's a wonderful poet. But... Yeah. yeah. Let me just double check. Um, 
Barry, did you want to do anything or or no? Uh, I'll I'll come to you if. Uh, okay. I'm still waking up. I'm being okay. nice. We are. Barry, are you um, going to do something? We possibly, possibly. My goodness. Well, um. <laughs> All right. If he's finishing, then nah. I'm still a bit tired. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm alright. Okay, alright. Okay! Alright, so lastly, um... <laughs> get one last time. Oh, I really want to know what that looks like from Vera's um, perspective. Come up and say a few oh, words, um... Yeah, before we idea. let yeah. you guys get Would back like to partying to and oh yeah you know, yeah i should take it all that good stuff so where is ezra <laughs> uh-oh i lost him okay, what's your wife's name would you look at that i i know Zingy is there in a doorway oh my goodness wow mm -hmm. hello speak of the devil <laughs> And mine is WS289. Okay. Ah, uh, Malone. Dahlia Malone. Make sure you're speaking loudly. Is he just quiet? Oh, no. Uh, does he have stage for it? I don't think I've ever known Captain Thatcher uh -oh. to shut up before, uh -oh. so this is indeed a surprise. There you go. Oh, there <laughs> yep. you go. Happens to the best of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apologies, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, I have hope that you enjoyed yourself to the core again tonight. Um, I know the event was, you know, quite tame, but nonetheless, I think the performances myself yeah. were phenomenal. Uh, from Dahlia singing to Vera's dancing to Mr. Teller's um, poems and everyone, really. Um, Missy, of course, big props, big cheers. Hurrah. But no, most importantly, um, really lovely to see everyone come out enjoy themselves and uh, come together Sorry, I'm fussing with, the uh, with that being said uh, the Corrigan is first of all is grateful to have your company here um, but most importantly uh, the Corrigan is looking to move Saint Denis in a better direction as a whole um, mm -hmm. we're looking to implement initiatives in the future um, infrastructure projects um, we've completed one in Guarma it's a small one mm -hmm. Uh, one named Casa Agua. It's a refuge for travelers that come to the island that need a place to find a bit of shelter, food, simple things like that. Lovely. And it really does mean a lot to me that it was made possible by the Oregon Relief Fund, made possible by our donors from a previous charity bone. Um, names are listed mm. on the poster itself, but we'll also have one placed up here as well to show accountability and to give transparency and clarity to where the money is going. Um, not only then, Gorm aside, my home aside, uh, we're looking to invest in Saint Denis, um, hopefully to get housing projects done so that people can come and enjoy commerce and life within the city. Um, we want to make Saint Denis a much better place, a capital for the crossing, if you will. Mm -hmm. And it can take a while. It'll be a lot of effort involved. But um, if any of you find that appealing, um, do stay in touch. We'd be more than happy to, you know, find apartments for people to get them situated, to make them have a routine in the city and to make them really feel a part of it over time. Uh, but otherwise than that, um, please, everyone, enjoy yourselves. Drink up, eat up. There's plenty of hot food, good smokes, and beautiful drinks made by our wonderful professional bartenders. Uh, custom made as well, some of them. Uh, but yeah, otherwise... Mm -hmm. um, Enjoy everyone, and thank you again for coming to the Grand Corrigan. Much appreciated, everyone. Thank you for. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. You. Please feel totally. free to enjoy yourself and mingle and socialize. We'll be here. Great thank you, Dahlia. Yeah, yeah, of um, I'm gonna head out. Uh, okay. You're gonna be around a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be around okay. here. We're Great. gonna. Maybe we can mingle so, and stuff here you so. stepped away from being attorney general for what i got to delete my detail Bye, Boop. See ya. okay
Captain, I have to uh, head out, but at some point, uh, now that you are uh, back in the mainland, I would uh, love to speak to you about some of the things that you mentioned uh, however long ago right, that Robert. was, weeks or so ago. Well, it is. Um, everything on fire. So about sort you. of just your yeah, thank you messages. Yeah, I promised it wouldn't. Just so that it can wait. Um, good job. I'll trust you to do this again and again. Yeah. And not miss it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, Thank you for not burning the ship down. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, um, All right, I just saw that we're, we're clear. Yeah, have a good rest of your night, Ben. Yeah? You You're as well. The one in front All right. Bye, Ezra. Oh, 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 yeah, oh all the, the best. best. All right. Okay. You Thank you for coming. It can get dark yeah, in just some Are you uh, here? See you, Ezra, Ben, hey. and all the beautiful stuff of the corridor. Goodbye. Hey, good to see you too, man. Yeah, apologies. That that dream just right. took my ears by surprise. I, I thought my eyes were seeing things. That's why I just went up. I was I was having some uh, some issues in the lion's den oh, yesterday, yeah. but um, uh, I do have to get going. But at some point, um, I'd like to speak to you just to, uh, to get more. Sorry, I'm just looking at our you know, guy. just sort of hear what you had in mind regarding. You spoke of like having me read some sort of thank you notes, or write some sort of thank you notes or something like that for your donors so. or what have you. Um, and if you're still interested in that sort of thing, I am curious to hear Where about it. So I just wanted to sort of raise the point again, but I don't have a, a ton of time today, I'm afraid. But oh, no, that's quite understandable. Um, seriously, again, thank you for coming on. I, of course, means a lot. <laughs> but, oh, yes, it was a lovely event. See, but otherwise, so. Um, Olive. Yeah. Hey. Chocolate lime. But you can. No, okay. no, it's okay. No, it's yeah, I understand. I understand. Hey, um, we got some catching up well. to do, man. Uh, but um, yeah, course. sorry, Mr. Teller. Um, I wanted it to be small because. Yeah, I let you get to it, but seriously, looking forward to talking soon. I'll be around tomorrow. Eight p.m. Nice as nice usual. Mm. All right. Yes, I should be around tomorrow as well. Um, and good to see you Rob. again, Kate. Oh shit, Mr. Kate. I'll see you all again soon. All right. Fine. We had. Enough uh, staff to cover. I heard about your um, accent you had there. Yeah, well, that's what's happening, I suppose. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm just tired and out of it. It was The open mic was fun, though. Hey, well, good evening, sir. Thanks for visiting the Corrigan. You as well. Yeah, good yeah, evening yeah. to both of you. I am tired and hungry. So, sort of a shorter stream today, but appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I think I'll stream tomorrow. Actually, I might not. I forgot I have plans tomorrow. We will see. Um, but, in the meantime, thank you guys for coming. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And until I see you again, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and do something artsy with yourself. It helps. Alright, have a good night everyone. <laughs>